Welcome to Kickstart Your Career, your free course to set you on your way to find your dream job. In this episode, I discuss how you can prepare well for the different types of job interviews you may encounter during your job search so you're not taken by surprise. Let's say that we, we, we do some networking and maybe we found our way to the hiring manager. The hiring manager has reviewed our resume and they have decided now to bring us in for an interview. It used to be, and it still is, but it used to be that there was really only one kind of interview, right? You would just come in, you would sit with someone, you would talk to them, and you do this sequential type thing where you go from one person to the next person to the next person. And then, then you would see the person at the door and they would say, thank you, we'll call you later. But now there are so many different types of interviews. Can you walk through a couple of what I think are these new ones, which are a Skype video slash webcam interview? How, how often do you see those taking place today? Oh, a lot more frequently now because quite a number of my clients, they're, they're interviewing for roles overseas. I mean, we're, we're here. I'm, I'm based in Sydney. Um, but I do work with clients from all over because I do a lot of work and coaching via Skype myself. And when it comes to Skype interviews, first of all, you've got to make sure you've got a decent in, uh, internet connection. If it's through a recruiter, they might bring you into their office and they'll set everything up for you. But if you're doing it from home, you treat it like it's a, an actual face to face interview and make sure that you dress appropriately as if, you know, you are already in the job. Uh, if it's a suit and tie, then so be it. Okay. Make sure that, that everything is good with Skype. Once you've got the good internet connection and you're there, look into the camera on your computer rather than down at the screen. Lift your computer up so that when you're actually looking at the camera, you're looking up slightly because that's the nicest angle for your face. You've got to look good after all. <laughs> <laughs> and and when you're speaking, speak a little bit slower than you normally would because there might be a little bit of a lag. Make sure that there is a backup plan. So if it drops out, there is a phone number to call so that you can continue just via phone if Skype isn't working. Be prepared for any technical issues that might come up as well. Be prepared because this is the key. When it comes to interviews, prepare, prepare, prepare for every eventuality. And it's not just prepare your responses to certain interview questions. It's prepare for technical issues. It's also prepare for how long is it going to take you to get to that venue. That statement takes me all the way back to the very first interview I did for this podcast with Tim Samir, who said, your interview really starts the minute you walk out the door of your house. It does. Because you never know who you're going to run into along the way. What types of questions should you ask? And is that a good opportunity for the candidate to demonstrate their expertise? Mm, absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, wait, wait until it's an appropriate time. And normally you, you can judge. They might say, do you have any questions for us? And it's right at the end. And so anything that hasn't been covered already, make sure that you, you get that technical side uh, covered. But also you could ask them something like, what would be the key attributes of the successful candidate in this role? Because you might not have covered that. And so I'm talking about more like the tenacity or the sense of humor or the influencing skills, more of those soft skills as well. You can also ask them, what's the team culture? Or what's the organizational culture? Or in fact, of your hiring manager, if he or she is there, what's your management style? These, these questions, hopefully, will get them to open up a little bit and you'll be able to ascertain if the values and the culture are a match to what's important to you. And this is going back to the values-based career search. Because when it comes to the skills and the knowledge and and telling people about your accomplishments, that's all fine and good. But it's 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 really it's the values and the culture and the fit because they're looking for someone who can do the job, someone who will do the job the way they want you to work. So that could be working weekends or flexible work hours or traveling for the job or whatever it is, your personal preferences. And the final one, the most important is the best fit. So by asking questions about the culture, about management style, about the traits that would make you successful in that role, it helps you to ascertain, you know, what, what, what that fit would be.
Before the next episode, check out janejacksoncareers.com for more advice and guidance on everything to do with job search and career management and career development for success. Or you can ask me a question on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. My handle is at Jane Career Coach. It's time to kickstart your career.